the secant of the inverse sine of negative one half. First, let's start off by solving the inside. Sine, we can rewrite this as sine of x is equal to negative one half. Because it's the inverse sine, it's bound between negative pi over two and pi over two. So in order to achieve this, x is going to have to be equal to negative pi over six. So you can simply plug this back in and get the secant of negative pi over six. I can draw this here. So negative pi over six is roughly equal to this. So this right here is root three. This is negative one and this is two. Secant's the reciprocal of the cosine. So the cosine is root three over, root three over two, but since this is the reciprocal, it's gonna be two over root three. And if you don't, if you can't, if you're not allowed radicals on the bottom, you just multiply the top and bottom by root three. So it's going to simply become two root three divided by three.